Hi there, and welcome to my Huga Crow. My name is Christina. I use she, her pronouns, and uh, I am coming to you from Sacramento, California, where I live with my husband, Joel, our new baby, Elliot, um, and uh, our big fat cat, Nissa. <laughs> um, I am, this is the first podcast I am recording since having um, my daughter, Elliot. Um, it's so awesome <laughs> that she's here right now. Um, she is currently napping, so we will see how long that lasts. Um, she is uh, three weeks old tomorrow, um, and she was born January 20th, and yeah, it's just so awesome to finally have her here. Um, I was two weeks late giving birth, <laughs> so it was a bit of a longer wait um, than usual, um, and so yeah, it's just really exciting um, to be a mom, and um, Joel and I are figuring out the whole parenting thing and having a good time. Um, having a newborn, though, <laughs> makes it very hard to knit a lot. <laughs> uh, and so for this video today, uh, I got this idea just recently because um, instead of doing a lot of knitting like I was before when I was pregnant, uh, now I find myself on uh, Ravelry um, or the Ravit app on my phone <laughs> when I'm um, breastfeeding or we're having, doing a contact nap or anything like that and um, I find myself just kind of looking longingly at patterns and trying to keep up with all the new um, designs coming out and thinking about maybe one day in the future being able to cast on um, and so today I wanted to kind of um, do that uh, for a podcast, uh, but with patterns that I think would be fun Valentine's Day cast ons. Um, so this podcast will be coming out either on Valentine's Day or shortly before. Uh, and so it's not something that you would be able to likely knit <laughs> to have on Valentine's Day. But I think sometimes it's fun to do a seasonal cast on um, when you know, you're inspired by a season or the holiday or um, something like that. So um, I am not actually planning on <laughs> casting any of these on. Um, I'm going to film a podcast just on my projects later on in this month, but I do have eight ongoing projects right now. <laughs> um, I had a little bit of a cast on frenzy. Uh, and so I do not need any more cast ons. And I also don't really have the mental bandwidth to start a new project, reading the pattern, swatching, if, you know, I don't actually ever swatch, but um, in theory, that the guilt of not swatching <laughs> and all of that, I just can't handle it right now. So um, I did want to share what I will be um, working on. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll have it finished for Valentine's Day, maybe, um, or if it will be something I'm working on now up until Valentine's Day. But it is a Sophie scarf. I am jumping on the bandwagon um, and doing a Sophie scarf. So I'm doing the large um, Sophie scarf by Petite Knit. Uh, not the shawl, but just the larger size of the scarf. Uh, the pattern comes with two, two sizes. Um, and the yarn that I'm using is new. Um, I didn't have it 
yet um, in my last podcast, uh, so I hadn't, haven't talked about it before, but it is Malabrigo Dos Tierras. I don't speak Spanish, um, and it is in the colorway Neverland. So it is a DK weight yarn, um, and it is 50% merino wool and 50% baby alpaca. And the color is just so cool. It's um, this like pink, mauve color uh, with some tonal variegation. Maybe um, that will show it off better. Uh, but I'm just loving how it's working up. I am right about at the middle of the scarf and ready to start doing the decreases um, to make it taper back down. Uh, and then the project bag I have is not a bag, but a box. Um, and this is a um, vintage yarn holder. Uh, and it's, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has these cute little kittens playing with yarn on the top of it. It's kind of hard because it's clear. Um, but yeah, I picked this up at a, like a vintage store that I used to work at. Um, and I love it for, um, any project that's like one ball of yarn and sometimes color work as well. But yeah, so that's what I will be knitting on for Valentine's Day. Whoops. Um, and yeah, we'll see how far I get. Um, obviously, my knitting is very disjointed now. Um, so just a, a little bit about the patterns that I've selected to share as you know, potential Valentine's Day cast-ons. Um, I will say all of the patterns have a very um, femme aesthetic, um, I guess. Uh, and of course, gender is a construct and a completely uh, cultural phenomenon. Um, but I would say that I, I do personally like a, um, a femme style of clothing, um, especially when I'm dressing up for something. So um, I, I like patterns of this nature. I do also like the more basic um, patterns in neutral colors as well. But today I'm definitely gonna be sharing um, some, I guess, traditionally femme, <laughs> styles of patterns. Um, and so what that means uh, is it there, there's a lot of pinks and purples and reds, uh, as well as lace, um, lots of mohair and soft, uh, softer looking garments, um, as well as um, like things that are in heart shapes, um, some flower shapes, and that kind of goes along with the lace uh, as well. So that being said, um, I have a bundle in my Ravelry page. Um, so far, I, ha I put 30 patterns in there, uh, just because I was having such a hard time deciding. Um, and I might potentially add more um, if you're interested in seeing a larger selection of patterns. Uh, but I am going to be sharing 10 today that I think are just really fun things that I'm definitely daydreaming about <laughs> casting on. Um, I have no plans to cast these on uh, anytime soon. They're not things that I've shared in my 2023 uh cast like knitting plans video um but you never know because the sophie scarf was also not in my knitting plans <laughs> and it's already halfway done um so yeah without further ado i will just uh start with the first one so the first um pattern is the only one that i have actually knit before and this is a um good scrappy 
yarn pattern. Um, and it is the Little Hearts by Susan B. Anderson. And um, it's published on the Bar Barrett, Barrett Wool Company website. And it is a free pattern. It's just like in a blog posty thing. Um, and the pattern is written for worsted weight yarn on 4.5 millimeter needles, but it's really flexible because you can just, if you want to use a larger or smaller yarn uh, weight, you can just change the needle size and knit the same thing. Um, and it will just be a slightly different size. So um, I have an example here. This one actually isn't one <laughs> that I knit. Uh, this was knit by um, by a friend and given to my husband as a gift. Um, but you can see it's just like a little stuffed heart. Um, I have, I, I'm pretty sure this is the same pattern, um, that I have knit before the little hearts pattern. Um, but I did, uh, over this, the summer I knit, um, almost all of my kind of larger worsted weight yarn scraps, uh, into a bunch of these little hearts. Um, I like to put a, uh, a little loop on the top so people can use them as Christmas ornaments because otherwise they're just kind of around. <laughs> but I knit a bunch of those and gave them to everyone um, who came to my baby shower as the little like favor for my baby shower. So uh, love this pattern. Great way to use up like worsted weight, Aran weight scraps, um, or really any size of scraps if you're willing to change the needle size and figure it out. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. The next one that I want to talk about, I'm going to pull up my, um, my thing on my iPad so I can look at the patterns as I talk about them. Um, but this this next one is a pattern for uh, babies. Um, you know, if you've watched any of my videos before, I love baby knits um, because I have a baby, but I even before I was trying to get pregnant, I did a lot of baby garment knitting just because um, it's cheaper to only buy one ball of yarn and be able to knit a whole garment. Uh, so I have... I knit a lot of baby stuff, but this is the Bean Sprout Bloomer, uh, and it is a knitting for olive pattern. Um, I really love their their baby patterns, and it is these cute little bloomers with um, this like little circle detail. And to me, the little circle detail looks like a um, like a little rosebud or flower bud. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a bean sprout, that's <laughs> the name, but yeah, to me, the little circle looks like a flower. Um, so I, just, I think that's so cute. I love bloomers. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, I love um, bloomers with tights for babies, uh, for boy and girl babies. So this one is... One that I might have to consider casting on <laughs> at some point, but it is knit in fingering weight yarn and um, the larger needle size is a three millimeter needle for this pattern. So next up um, is a, a children's pattern uh, and this one is actually called Valentine. So I felt like I had to include it <laughs> and it is... Um, it is by Siri Hoftoon uh, of pa Palis Knits, um, and I believe they're a Norwegian knit knitting company. Um, and this pattern is um, the the neckline is like a V neckline on the front and the back, uh, and so it makes the whole sweater look kind of like a little heart. Uh, and there's some kind of simple lace details on the collar. And it is knit in uh, in alpaca from what I can 
see like lace weight alpaca held I'm assuming double if not more than double um and it is knit on five millimeter needles as well so kind of a, a little chunkier uh chunkier pattern I, it looks like it would be a pretty quick knit um, and it is available from like ages two to seven years old so i I'm really liking that pattern, maybe one that I knit for Elliot um, in a few years when she's a little bigger. <laughs> um, for Valentine's Day, I feel like, you know, I would be remiss to not include at least one piece of lingerie uh, in this pattern roundup. And so the one that I selected to share is the Nurture Bralette. Uh, and that is a pattern by Celine Phaeton. Um, and this one, I think I really like it because it's a simple bralette uh, at the top. It looks like it has some ribbing right here on the sides, which would give you kind of a nice fitted um, look uh and in the other parts and then the bottom of it has a sweet lace detail that's kind of it looks kind of like leaves um or something like that and then there's also it looks like an option to just do ribbing at the bottom if you're not into the that little lace detail but i think the lace detail is what makes it to my mind like a more valentine's day like ooh, so cute um, if you're into knitted lingerie. I have not ever made knitted lingerie. I do plan to in the future just to see. I know some people love it. <laughs> some people are like, what is the point? <laughs> so one day I will find out if I enjoy knitted lingerie for myself. The next one I have is a sock pattern. Um, and it is the fairy maiden pattern and this is another free pattern um and it is by uh sorry it is by this handmade life um so the fairy maiden socks by this handmade life this handmade life has so many amazing uh, sock patterns and a fair number of them are free um and some are paid but like I'm pretty sure the normal price is $3. So super affordable. Um, I definitely, I have two of her patterns in the larger bundle, but I wanted to share this one because um, it is free. And also I think the little lace detail on these socks looks kind of like little hearts stacked on top of each other. And so I thought that was very cute for Valentine's day. And yeah, I would definitely knit these. Um, I would knit these socks in the future. Again, in the distant future, because I have a lot of sock plants already and some socks on the needles right now. Um, okay, next one that I wanted to share is, um, I'm not sure if it's what the pronunciation is on this, but I would say it's the ballad neck warmer or ballad uh neck warmer by um per, uh pearl a sweater is the uh pearl a sweater designs is the name of the designer and so i'm not sure if it was just the color that the sample was knit in that made me choose this um I know that there's like probably about 5 billion shawls that would be great Valentine's Day <laughs> casts on, uh, cast ons. Um, I'm not really a shawl knitter. Um, I'm currently trying to knit a scarf and that is pretty rough and sloggy. So um, I, I just added this neck warmer instead of of a shawl because I don't, I'm not sure one day I will knit a shawl and see if I like the process. But, uh, for me, just not, 
really my thing at this point in time. Um, so obviously the sample color on this neck warmer is like a beautiful mauve, um, which makes me think of uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, and I think like the shape of it almost kind of looks like a heart because it goes um, kind of in at the bottom, especially on the back. Uh, and it just looks really uh, soft and cozy. And it is knit, um, I believe, holding two strands of uh, lace weight mohair together. Um, or you can knit it in worsted weight, uh, according to like the pattern description. And it is knit on 5.5 millimeter needles as the larger size needle. Um, but yeah, I think with the mohair, it, it just makes it super fun and fluffy. <laughs> um, next up is a vest pattern. So this one is the Salea vest, and it is by uh, Samantha Swami. Um, and... Samantha is uh, the designer uh, behind the podcast, the uh, Stricka Chick. Um, and so she has, yeah, she has a podcast on YouTube. I enjoy watching. Um, she just pumps out designs. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I feel like every time I watch a podcast, she has like three designs and testing and um, putting one out. But she designs a lot with drops uh, yarn, and this one is also knit in drops air. Um, and so if you're familiar with drops uh, yarn, you know it's pretty affordable. And, um, and also like pretty nice, I would say. I guess I shouldn't speak to their yarn because I have only knit so far with drops air. Um, but this pattern is knit with drops air and the pattern I'm knitting right now with drops air, I, it's really nice, such a light weight, um, feel to the yarn and like fuzzy and nice. So, um, this vest is an all over lace, uh, and it has button details on the sides, which I think is really cool. Um, just as an interesting design, but uh, also now that I am breastfeeding, I'm realizing how many clothes are not breastfeeding <laughs> friendly. And so um, I do like that this design, having the buttons on the sides, would actually be um, really convenient uh, for breastfeeding. Um, so maybe something that I'll consider consider making. Um, we'll see. The next one that I have uh, is for a, a top, and it is the Daphne Top by Friday Knits. So it's called the Daphne Top because it is inspired by Daphne from Bridgerton. And when you see it, I mean, you're just like, well, yeah, that, I feel like that is the knit version of everything Daphne wears in Bridgerton. Um, and uh, Friday Knits, I don't know the designer's name, but um, she does also have a, a podcast on YouTube. Very um, cool. She, I think she lives in Australia. And so... Um, if you live in a warm weather place like I do, um, I think that her designs are really interesting because a lot of them are done in cotton. Um, and she does a lot of, uh, like camis and, uh, tees and things like that rather than, um, full wool sweaters, which here in Sacramento would not, they're not. I wear, I have so many of them and I do wear them all winter, but they're not super 
practical for most of the year. So I do really like a lot of um, this designer's patterns. Um, and I, I plan to make them in the future. But this Daphne top, I think would be a great to Valentine's Day cast on because it's got that um, really cute sweetheart neckline. Um, and then at the on the under bust, it's um, has a nice like, I don't know if it's an eye applied eye cord or something, but it's defines under the bust as well. Um, and then it has these big puffy sleeves. <laughs> so like I mentioned before, it's very femme um, and like very, I would say princessy. Um, and also the back part is all, there's like a rib panel. So you get kind of like a nice um, form fitting look, which I think is great. Um, for those patterns where you kind of want like zero or negative ease. So that is the Daphne top. And the next one that I wanted to talk about is a, a full sweater. And, um, oh, I forgot to say the Daphne top is knit in, uh, in a DK weight yarn um, with uh, 3.75 millimeter needles. Um, so, and I believe, oh, so I have some yarn that I am thinking I will knit this top with. It's like random eBay yarn <laughs> that I got in like a aquamarine color that I could not figure out what on earth I could do with. Um, with that yarn and then I saw this top and I was like oh that's the perfect like Daphne color <laughs> to knit the Daphne top in so my plan is going to be to hold two uh, strands of the fingering weight together hopefully to make around a DK um, I'll definitely need to swatch for that to make sure I'm, I get gauge but yeah okay so next one is a, um, a full sweater and it is the Abydos sweater uh, by Lily Kate France. Um, so this sweater is it. I have the um, the souffle sweater uh, by why am I not remembering her name? <laughs> the souffle sweater by the designer that I will put somewhere on the screen <laughs> because I'm having a total brain fart. Um, and that one is in my Ravelry bundle and I feel like it's a very um, kind of like, of course I would include the souffle sweater in this, um, in this uh, round pattern roundup. Uh, but I have seen that sweater around a lot. I know a lot of people have made it and wore testers. And the Abydos sweater has a somewhat similar vibe. It's it's different for sure, but a similar vibe um, to that sweater. And I don't see it um, made as, as much. And it might just be, maybe it's an older pattern or something. But... Um, I just think it's really, really cool. And so I wanted to kind of feature it in this pattern roundup, but it has that, um, it's like a tiered yoke uh, with um, mohair interspersed with kind of small ruffles of a DK weight yarn and then, you know, more mohair and then the DK again. And then after those, the yoke, then it's just knit fully in the DK. It's got these beautiful balloon sleeves. And I think it's so cool, like a very romantic look. And it might just be the sample is knit in red. And um, <laughs> the, the person modeling is like by a canal. And so it just looks very like, ooh, Valentine's Day date. But um yeah, I, I really like this pattern. Um, it is knit, as I mentioned, in a DK weight, and then there's the lace mohair as well. You use very little of that just in the yoke. 
um, and it is knit on five millimeter needles. Um, nope, sorry, it is knit in four on four millimeter needles. Um, but yeah, love that. Did I say who the designer was? Yeah, Lily Kate France. Okay, and then the last one um, that I wanted to talk about today was a um, is a cardigan. I tried to select a lot of kind of different types of projects and garments to share, um, but for me, I love a cardigan. <laughs> I wear a lot of cardigans. I have a lot of cardigans, <laughs> including this one, which is not hand knit. This is just a thrifted cardigan. Um, but I feel like they're very romantic looking. Um, and I just really like them. <laughs> so I think in my 30 patterns that I have in the Ravelry bundle, um, I believe uh seven of them are cardigans so it's really hard for me to choose between all seven on which one I would share um but I did choose the tender leaves cardi by Masha Zablakova um and I think it's just it looks so soft and floaty uh, it has this all over like leaf lace pattern. Um, it's knit holding two strands of mohair together on five millimeter needles. And yeah, it just looks like light and airy. And I probably said this 50 times already, but romantic <laughs> looking. Um, and that is definitely one that I would love to knit um, in the future when I'm not focused exclusively on trying to manage my stash. <laughs> but yeah, big fan of the Tender Leaves Cardi. So those were all of the patterns that I wanted to feature in this um, Valentine's Day cast on pattern roundup episode. I did have also one little acquisition that I wanted to share um, that I thought was also cute for Valentine's Day. It is this little uh, felted mouse um, and it is from the So Heartfelt um, England or UK. Um, this was a little treasure that was included um, when a good friend uh, brought um, brought over some food <laughs> to help us out as we are uh, in the midst of newborn life. And this was in the little box um, and it just made me so happy and think of um, think of Valentine's Day um, with the, the little heart that it's holding. So because it was fiber related, I wanted to include it. Um, I have not tried my hand at felting, but um, definitely something I would love to do in the future. And, you know, maybe this little guy will inspire me. Um, haven't found the place where it will live in our house yet, but I just thought it was so adorable and wanted to share it. Um, and I will include a link down in the description if you're interested in these little <laughs> felted mice. All right. Well, that's everything I have um, today. Uh, I am planning to film a podcast, as I mentioned, just to talk about all of my uh, my knitting projects that will be coming out likely towards the end of February, if not in early March. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so happy you joined today. And I hope that this uh, roundup gave you some ideas on projects um, and some inspiration and maybe introduced you to some patterns or designers that you didn't know before. So I hope you all have a great day. 
Um, sorry if I was going really fast. I just wanted to make sure I got this all in uh, before Elliot woke up from her nap. Um, so hopefully I'll see you again next time and um, I wish you all the best. Thanks. Bye.